Alright, welcome back. Star Conflict officially turned 11 years old. Now, I have been playing this game since 2013. Of course, I did have some breaks, but now I am back. And today I will be playing PvP. We'll be flying the old school ships. Now, most of these ships are tier 4. The Nyx is tier 3, but I think the rank classification is more accurate. So, I will be playing rank 11 matches that can actually throw me into the high rank battles, but we will see what will happen. I'm quite confident uh, with my with my little ships here. The Tiger is definitely one of my favorite ships in this game. I used to dominate back in the day using that ship. And what do we have here? Detonation. Ah, okay, one of my... I think my favorite game mode is definitely the team match, the team death match or whatever it was called. Now this ship is built to to kill interceptors. That's basically the purpose for the tackler fighters. This is a cover tops, which means it can cloak. I use the flux phaser weapon. Basically, I have this weapon for a couple years now, and it does work really well with this ship. I figured out that all ships have the they all have the weapon that works well with them. Now I'm trying to focus down that one interceptor, but. They are... I think that the Interceptor tried to use his teammate as shield. Now here the goal is to destroy as many ships as possible. And of course the main goal is to blop the, the enemy stations. You basically have to collect a bomb that can spawn. And you have to fly that bomb to the station and then plant the bomb on the station. It's a pretty interesting little game mode. Okay, now usually I am trying to get as many kills as possible and I usually try to get as many points as possible because that's what I'm good at in this game. Uh, basically farming kills like there is no tomorrow. Now the Flux Phaser can actually hit targets behind obstacles. Now I have to admit, uh, back in the day I used to do that really well. Now, now I'm a little bit rusty. I'm still a little bit rusty, so I will have to practice with the weapon a little bit. But I remember I used to send the projectile literally behind a rock and I would hit targets behind a rock. I used to make players so salty with this ship. I think it still has the the same salt level, but the weapon has been significantly nerfed and the ship has been nerfed as well. If I can recall correctly, the, the Tiger used to have a bonus on EM speed range and damage, on EM weapon damage. Now that has been replaced with missile damage. But this little weapon can also work really well and I am able to to nail these ships without a problem. Now I can still see the outline, although my locking system is a little bit broken, I can still see the outline of the enemy ship. So it's very easy to, to actually target. Okay, nice. That's one more down. That was kill number nine. And I will try to make that ship kill number ten. And that was kill number ten. Oh, okay. 
so far I think it's going pretty well. I also noticed that some ships that used to be very weak have have ended up being really tanky. Now that Templar S used to be a very easy to kill ship. Now it takes some it takes some hits to actually get that ship down. So a lot of things have changed in this game over time. And that is a Hydra. Used to be paper, now it feels really tanky. They are using the Positron Cannon, which is a sniping weapon, but it has really good alpha damage, and I definitely do not want to take full hit from that thing, because it will probably kill me in one shot. So far we are leading, we have... We actually lost one station, the enemy team also lost one station. I should probably focus down on shooting down the ships that carry the bomb. That way I can keep the, the stations safe. Okay, that's one interceptor down. Let's try to focus the next one. Okay, both interceptors have been destroyed. We have 20 kills, the enemy team has 16. We are still leading. In the case that the stations destroyed equal on both sides, then the team with the with more kills actually wins. Okay, that's one interceptor down, let's kill the next one. That is one recon interceptor, they can warp, they are pretty fast. And in this game mode they're actually a threat, so I will have to focus down the interceptor before I focus down the other ships. Okay, the recon interceptor has been destroyed. We have another interceptor over there. Okay, destroyed. We have a long range frigate. Also has to be destroyed. My locking system has failed, but I can still see the outline of the ship easily. So I will keep on shooting until the ship this until the ship goes down or or escapes. In this case, the ship got destroyed. We have one destroyer also going to be destroyed very soon. Okay, the destroyer is destroyed. The gunship has also been blown up. Okay, now we have a panther. Now, the panther is a very interesting ship. I don't have it, but I believe it can work. Like the tiger. That's a premium ship, by the way. The panther is a premium ship, while the, the tiger that I'm currently flying is... He's a classic, rank 11. A classic rank 11 tackler. And we won. This was a fantastic match. I think I, I've killed like 18 ships. We're about to find out because... I will take a look at the... 
add the kills over here. Search for loot. Okay, let me just quickly do this because sometimes you can find ship ship parts, debris, even credits that can be useful. Okay. And now let's take a look at the ending result. 2.5 thousand points, it's okay. 18 destroyed ships. Well, I think I, I did a good job at blasting ships in this match. This was a very fun one. This was indeed a very fun one. Okay, let's go to the next round, next game. Threshold, an old school map. I like that they have added some some new maps. I really like the high altitude atmospheric maps. They definitely look really good. So beacon hunt. Well, not my not my favorite mode, but it will give me a chance to shoot down a lot of a lot of interceptors. And interceptors are my main target with with this boat. So. I will try to blast as many as possible, although this little ship has enough damage output to actually go and destroy the big ships, like frigates, can also do really well against the destroyers. Okay, Valor is a premium engineering frigate. And let me go to Beacon B, which is over here. No one has captured Beacon A. Hopefully... Hopefully we capture this one. And I think I messed up here because... Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to what's around me. Am I going to survive this? Probably not, but I'll try. We got jumped by a lot of ships there. And that frigate is chasing me, let me try to avoid that ship for now. And also let me try not to crash. My ping has spiked for some reason. Well, I crashed into the asteroid because my ping likes to act up. 85! 85. 85 ping, hmm. Well, I can definitely see the... I can definitely see the difference. Okay, let's fly towards Beacon C. Currently, we are losing. However, there is there is still a chance to save the match. I'll definitely try to to do some tricks here. After I capture C, I will fly straight towards Beacon A to be to be prepared when the when the beacon is available for capturing. Missiles are on cooldown. I'm actually thinking about changing the build on this on this ship to carry more missiles or to have faster missile reload. I haven't changed the build on this thing in like three years now or something or something like that, so I think it's about time to change the build on this ship a little bit. Okay, one interceptor has been blown up, and let's try to block the next ECM interceptor, electronic warfare interceptor. They can be very dangerous. And this one decided to go after me, or not. Looks like the enemy team will capture Beacon A. Or perhaps not. Okay, that was nice. 
both ships have been destroyed fairly quickly. Now this weapon is good for a long range combat but it's not really good for a close range as you can see because it has it has good alpha damage but very low rate of fire so I really have to be very careful with how I engage targets at a close range distance. Okay B has been captured let's go towards Beacon C. We are actually winning. We did start a little bit clumsy, but I think we have a good chance at winning this. I have five missiles and we have one target. It's the Lance that, that we met earlier. And they have cloaked, okay. And they are behind the wall which is fine my goal is to capture the beacon however I also want to blow up this ship because they might be a problem if they are not destroyed that was a nice one I nailed that ship with the missile okay the ECM interceptor is approaching us And I missed. Oh, okay, fair enough. Down. That was a nice hit with the missile. Nicely timed. And let's go towards Beacon A because C is about to... Actually, we might win the match after... Let's defend C until the match ends, because I think we are actually going to win this one. How did I miss that? That was weird. And we have won the match. Nice. I almost killed that interceptor as well, but I missed with with one of my shots somehow. Sometimes something weird really happens with the flux phaser. The the mouse doesn't I don't move the mouse but the aim just moves on its own which was really weird. And this was a good match. This was a very good match. Three point three thousand points. Nice. Pilgrim eleven. Now this map is a new one I haven't played before. I don't know when it, when it was added, uh, so so not really sure what to expect. And this is domination. We have three beacons, A, B, and C, and basically the teams will have to compete to capture them. Meanwhile, I'll just focus on blast chips because that's what I'm best at in this game. Okay, that was kill number two. We have one frigate regarding the beacon. Now, at this distance, that frigate is going to be in a lot of trouble because they can't really hit me, but I can hit them and it seems like they don't have good tank, so I think that kill was stolen unfortunately now we are losing it doesn't look good for us uh, on the start now why is that little, little ship so tanky diamond dwarf I have to actually check the look at how tanky that thing is I, I don't remember that thing being so tanky but I'm definitely barely scratching the surface of that of that ship. 
they usually have high EM natural resistance, so that might be the case. Let me try to find a good target. I shoot down the small ships first and then I go after the big ones because, well, this is the... This is the purpose of, of a tackler. They are made to go and blow up the small ships. Oops, yeah, I'm about to... Okay then, well... Let's not chase that ship anymore, let's find another target. Beacon captured. Okay, nice. Ship destroyed. We hold beacon A and C. We'll try to go and capture beacon B, although... Not really sure how that will... How that will go. Because there is a lot of ships to, des to destroy first before I could capture a beacon. I'm at close distances. Yeah, this weapon is definitely not going to work well, but... I have missiles, and I think with the missiles I'm going to be able to kill this interceptor. I'm trying to kill it at least, but they are moving. Okay, I got the I got the, the interceptor. This is not how you should fly this the ship with this weapon. Definitely don't do this because it's not going to end well. How tanky is that Diamond Dwarf? Unbelievable. A very tanky little ship. We are winning. I, I think we have a good lead over here currently. We hold Beacon A and B. The enemy team has captured C. And I'm lagging really hard for some reason. My internet is not on my side today. Or just the servers of the game are not on my side. Could be the case. Could be both. Let me see if I can kill this frigate. Or will I have to go and... Well, the frigate almost killed me, so... Yeah. Let's go and... Defend B con B. Okay, that interceptor has been killed, let's go and fly towards Beacon C. Okay, let's try to capture C. There is a missile chasing me. I'm not really sure where the missile is, but I'm fairly sure I don't have to worry about it. Oh, there was the missile. Missed me by... By a very small amount. Okay, let's go and defend the next beacon because the enemy team is trying to capture... Beacon A. Okay, that's one ship down. Let's try to blow up this frigate. Now the coil mortar, as you can see, is definitely not going to work really well at long range. So I can easily avoid the coil mortar from the engineering frigate. Okay, the frigate has been destroyed. Let's go and defend Beacon C. Oh, 
Oh, that's the very tanky. The very tanky interceptor. I'm barely doing any damage to that little ship. And I have a lot of alpha damage. Just look at how little damage I do to this ship. And we did win we did win the match, but I didn't blow up the the last target. Okay, well let's quickly check out all the all the loot. Well, it was a very nice match. Great job, mercenary. Overall, so far, it's going pretty well. Skeleton Island. Well, this is also a new map that I haven't seen before. Now, I haven't seen a lot of the old school maps in a very long time. Again, I did have a pretty long break from the game, so I missed a lot of things. But I think I'm slowly going back to my element here. I'm definitely playing much better than than couple couple weeks ago when I returned to the game. Okay, this is also domination. Currently fighting over B con B. Now my internet is giving me some very weird lag, so don't be surprised if you see some weird stuff happening. And of course, don't be surprised if you see lag. This computer is a potato. Okay, I think I can go and capture B because there is no one around. Can go and snatch this beacon and get some points for the team. Or perhaps not because I might get jumped in a moment. Okay, let's take range. Uh, the beacon is captured. Let me try and defend beacon A. Okay, nice. The beacon has been defended. Okay, I got out of that nasty position. They're trying to capture Beacon B. And I will try to defend, but there is a destroyer right on the beacon, so I'm not really sure how that will... How that will go. Unfortunately, that interceptor has escaped because that ECM interceptor has messed up my aim a little bit, or perhaps not. The the cover tops got destroyed, so that's good. Now I can focus on on this ship that appeared out of nowhere. I did not see that thing coming. But in a second I will engage, okay. 
I should be able to destroy it with the... Okay, nice. They have been destroyed. Let's go and... Let's try and stay alive. So far, it's not looking good for us. The enemy team is holding two beacons. We are holding only one. So... I will have to push a little bit here and... Let me try to sneak to capture B. Hopefully that destroyer did not see my ship. Well, now they definitely did see my ship. Although I'm still hoping that I have enough time to capture before... Nope, guess not. Well, let's fall back. Our team is capturing C, I'm also watching over Beacon A, because I know that this this interceptor wants to go and capture the beacon. beacon well, I'll try to be sneaky and I'll try to surprise them. The and seems my surprise did kind of work, but I missed with one hit. So... Okay, nice. Got the interceptor. The match is pretty close so far. We still can win, but at the same time we also can lose. 2 minutes and 46 seconds on the timer, so... If we can maintain the current... The current lead, then we are definitely winning, but... A lot of things can change. Someone is capturing Beacon A, that's not good, I have to go and... ...and defend the Beacon if possible. minutes on the timer I think I think we are going to win this one however still have to be careful Almost. Oh, that was that was close. If I did use a different weapon, that trick would have worked, but it's not gonna work with the flux phaser. That's obvious. Don't try to brawl with a long range weapon. Even though it might look like it it works, uh, it's not gonna work, so Yeah, but I had to attempt it. Because I was trying to buy time for my team. Okay, nice. Let's go and... Actually, no, we are already... Yeah, we are going to win this match. was a pretty close one. Uh, was definitely a pretty close one, but... Let's see if we, if we can get some more points out of capturing this beacon. Was was definitely a close one. There was a good chance that we could have lost the match, but... Overall, I think everyone did a good job here. Okay, nice. That was a good one.
Okay, let me quickly... Scan everything that I can scan. Get some loot perhaps, something useful perhaps, you never know. Well, not bad. Was definitely a good round. Okay, let's go to the next one. Iridium Strand. Now this is an old school map. One of my favorites. Now what is my favorite map? That's a tough choice. Uh, I actually like all of the old maps. But which one is my favorite? That's a tough one. Uh, I haven't seen some of them in a very long time, so... The nostalgic feeling is real. After all, I've been I've been playing the game for I don't know, ten years now or something like that. Well then, let's see. I think what happened with that ship. I have no idea. That that ship just popped. Not really sure what happened. Okay, that was the first kill off the match. And that ship about to be the second one. Okay. The gunship has been blown up. Let's try to blow up that interceptor. Well, there's interceptors everywhere actually, so... I have to be more specific when I try to shoot a ship down because they are literally everywhere. 19 to 15. So far we are we are leading. A pretty good lead. Now there is one sniper somewhere over there. I'm not really sure where but there is one long range frigate. Okay, nice. Nice, that's one more ship down. I used to love the Hydra too, that is one of one of my f one of my favorite frigates in this game. Used to play with a friend a lot. That ship is a tier two ship, and at the time it was it was pretty good. Uh, in low tier, the frigates were really really good. At least back then. Now I'm not really sure what the. I haven't been playing low tier in a very long time. I usually play tier 4, tier 5. That's basically my favorite tier. Mostly because of this ship. Now, I have the Blood Tormentor, which is a guard frigate. That thing used to be rank 9. It used to be tier 3. Now, they changed that to rank 16 for some reason. While the Nyx remained rank 9, unfortunately. But the Blood Tormentor was absolutely broken. That thing was... That thing is insane. I mean, it was insane. Now in rank 16, it doesn't feel that good anymore. But back then, back in... In the days when it was tier 9, when it was rank, rank 9, tier 3... That thing was dominating, and I really do miss flying that ship. It was really fun. I knew that that, that, that ship would be cloaked right next to me, I was expecting it. 
and they still have failed. Okay, nice. And we have to destroy one more ship and we have won the match. This was a pretty good one, honestly. And that was the last kill. And I even got some salt in in the chat. You know, you, you think that I farm salt in EVE. Oh no, I farm salt in every multiplayer game that I play for some reason. Like, I, I don't know. There is salt everywhere. And was a, that was a good match. I got 6 kills. Could have been 7 if I didn't nail that ship in the end, but... You know, it was a good one, so... Not going to complain. Okay, Alpha 7 Complex. Now, the game throws me right in... Uh, in a losing battle, and basically... Uh, this is going to be potentially tough to save because the score difference is already quite noticeable. But I will go towards B con C. If we can hold C and A, perhaps we can win this one, but it all depends on how the team plays and how the match how the match plays along. Now I will try to capture C if possible, just so that yeah, this is definitely going to be a very tough carry. However, I have a good feeling about it. I think we can do it. And there is a lot of ships heading towards my position and that's not good. Okay, we have removed most of the ships that were nearby. Okay, that was nice, very nice work. So we will probably capture Beacon A, which means now I have to focus on Beacon B and I have to basically wait for the beacon to be activated so that I can capture it as quickly as possible. The... We have, we have time, okay, 4 minutes and 40 seconds. Okay, we have one incoming ship. I think they will show up on my left side of the screen, but I have to focus on capturing the beacon. Okay, there is the interceptor. Okay, we have captured Beacon B, let's quickly fly towards Beacon C. If we can manage to hold B and if we can manage to hold C, we are probably going to win the match. Okay, that interceptor has been destroyed, let's see if I can destroy this cover tops. Or perhaps I should focus on going towards B, uh, towards C, but... I had to destroy that ship in order to save as many seconds as possible. We are holding B so far. The team is doing a good job at saving the beacon. Enemy ship destroyed. Okay. Now the, s the score is almost even. We have, we have time to to pull this round, so far doing good.
Okay, we are holding C. And the enemy team is trying to approach, but we are... We are doing a good job at blasting them. Okay, that, that interceptor got nailed by the missile. The gunship is also getting nailed by the missile. Okay. And the long range frigate is also getting destroyed. Well, we are going to win this match. Uh, that was a good one. Uh, was was definitely a tough start because we had a losing start, but we won in the end. That was a good. That was excellent teamwork. Uh, this was a fun one. Well then, uh, this was a good run. Again, I still feel a little bit rusty, but I think slowly I'm, uh, I'm definitely, I'm getting there. Those were some pretty good, pretty good rounds. Overall, I'm quite happy with the with the results so far. And with that being said, hope that you guys enjoyed. I love you all, stay safe, fly safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.